is engine 931, class A pumper, designed to pump 1,500 gallons a minute at 150 psi. It is a Pierce Huck. Huck stands for pump pump under cab. So what that means for this apparatus is unique to us in that it's a class A pumper, but it's also a PTO, power takeoff. So we need to be really careful as we set this up and we operate this to ensure that we don't engage the transmission while we're doing pump operations because we will drive the truck forward. So to set this up in pump mode and to start a process, let's go inside the cab. Yeah. So to switch this over to pump mode, first thing we want to do is make sure that we're appropriately positioned um, where we want to be operating from. Once we're satisfied with our positioning, um, we want to go ahead and switch over to pump mode. First thing we want to do is switch over to our fire screen. Our fire screen will show us all the things that we need to do uh, for a pump operation. So it'll say whether our pump is engaged and it'll show the actual pump RPM. Our pump spins all the time uh, because it's on a power takeoff. But to engage that pump, we put a foot on the brake, we ensure we're in neutral because it's a power takeoff. We do not want to go into drive, otherwise we will move. And then by my right knee, there's a, leap, or a toggle switch that we push to engage the pump from inside the cab. I get a positive green light at the toggle switch and I have a positive indicator on the command zone that says pump engaged, yes. So now my pump is actually spinning. You can also do that from our pump panel and we'll do that here in just a minute as well. So we're back outside of engine 931. So I showed you how to engage the pump on the inside of the cab. Now to show you how to do it from the pump panel. So first we have to access the pump panel. So what we want to do first is open up our tank to pump. This is a lever that will bring water from our 750 gallon storage tank into the eye of the pump by gravity. The second step is outside is we want to give the water and the air, more importantly, a place to exit when we're ready to prime the pump. So we're going to open up our tank fill and we're going to crack that. We bring it down just a little bit, that gives the air a place to escape to and we're ready to go ahead and engage our pump. To engage the pump, we hit the pump switch here on the side panel. We have our pump engaged light, it's not been illuminated, the pump is operating. At this point I want to prime my pump, this is an air prime. And as I did that, you saw the mass discharge level, level go up to approximately 25 psi. So what that's doing, I have zero intake pressure because it's gravity from the tank, and because I've removed the air in that pump, the pump is now moving a little bit of water back into that tank. So now I know I have flow going on, keeping my pump cool and just ready for operation. On our throttle panel, we want to go to the control mode. Our control mode will determine whether we go to pressure control or RPM control. Pressure control is a setting that will allow the pump to work for you set the desired outlet PSI, it'll maintain it for you. If water pressure changes on the inlet, or hoses on the outlet, or connections on the outlet are closed or open, the pump will ramp up, and it'll ramp down to maintain a constant pressure. This is the mode you want to be in all of the time, unless you are drafting, or some un or some other circumstances that will dictate that. But 99% of the time, you want to be in pressure mode. So we'll go ahead and engage the pressure control mode. If I push the control mode here, you see the pressure control light has been illuminated. The engine's still at idle, but what I want to do is bring up the ESI, the pressure, by turning the throttle button to the right, or clockwise. You can see the PSI now is 50 PSI, and that corresponds with our master discharge outlet of 50 PSI. So these should be the same. So I'll bring it up to 100 PSI.
at the conclusion of our video, and I hope it was a benefit for you, the basic pumping operations of engine 931. Again, as a quick refresher, we want to think about positioning as step one when we arrive on scene and setting our chocks. Once we're satisfied with our location, then we need to think about bringing water from our tank out to the lines where we need them. And once that's done, then we need to get water supply to refill and replenish and sustain, sustain our operation. Key points we need to remember is one, this is a PTO, unlike some of our other apparatus, and that this apparatus will move if we engage that transmission. So make sure we're in neutral and make sure our parking brake is set and just take everything slow to allow these mechanisms to operate smoothly and safely. And I hope, again, this was a benefit and have a great day.